we're going to take a look at drawing this cute little barn owl and we're going to try to emphasize the heart-shaped face because you might want to use this for a Valentine's card. So I have a folded up piece of art paper. You start with the basic heart. Let me draw just a little real fine straight edge and don't worry about it being perfectly aligned on the paper. So I'm just going to draw my heart. And try to be symmetrical. It's a little difficult. This is actually the hardest part of the whole picture. If you have to, you can just cut out a heart from paper and trace it. Just trying to get it somewhat equal on both sides. I think that's good enough. And now I'm going to draw two almond-shaped eyes. Sort of like jelly beans. You can fill them in. We'll fill them in better later, but try to make them about the same on each side. Now we're going to bring down the corner of the eyes just a little bit, like bring down the tear ducts. So you get the idea. We're going to draw a sharp little upside down triangle for the beak. You can fill that in if you want. I'm going to erase the line under the beak and up above the head. I'm going to soften the chin a little bit, just a little tiny bit. Don't want it to be an exact an actual point. So I'm gonna round that chin a little bit. Okay. Now we'll fill this in better later, but you get the idea. Now take a look at the top of the face over here and over here, I'm going to draw a little arc. Rounded top of the head, very good. And now I'm going to bring it down, sort of straight down. Looks like a thumb, the whole head sort of looks like a thumb. And I'm going to let me bring this in a little bit. Starting about here, right about chin level, I'm going to bring down the wings. Gonna draw a branch. Bring this down. This is just too much. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit. Now on the branch, I'm going to draw three little bumps right above the branch and bring down the little talons. 
off. Fill them in. Same thing over here. Underneath, you can draw a little bit of tail feathers. Now around the eyes, I'm just going to make a few little lines here. Just so you get the impression of some feathering. And on the chest, one just to make some dots, random fat dots. On the wings, I'm going to make like little teardrop shapes. If you look look up an image of a barn owl, they have like these little yeah, oval, sort of like raindrops. And I'm going to have them angle toward. Now, we can make some lines on our branches. We can make the branch go up here. You can just play around whatever you want to do. Just have fun with it. Now we can fill in our drawing. You don't have to, you can leave it just pencil. I'm going to take a black. colored pencil and fill in the eyes real dark. Eyes are a little big, so you might want to make yours a little smaller. Get a little carried away with the eyes. I'm going to take a brown, and I'm going to go around, reinforce the heart, and I'm going to make like a staggered because it's, you know, bordered in feathers. Sort of squiggle my pencil just a little bit as I go around. It may not have a great impact, but I'm going to take a white pencil, just go around the eyes. Yeah, you, I don't know if you can see it on camera, it does have an effect. It's going to fill in, even though the paper's white, I'm going to fill this in real good. Sort of like smushes the little marks I made with pencil earlier. Don't want to touch the eyes, it could smear it. And now you can use a real light brown pencil, but I have this like gray silver. I'm just gonna go real light. Just gonna give the head a little bit of substance. All the way down to the chest. Want. You could even outline the owl a little bit. Just 
just a little. And now I'm going to take my dark brown pencil and I'm going to outline the body a little bit. You don't have to colorize it at all. You can leave it grayscale. It's totally fine. And I'm going to start top, make it dark brown, then come down to real light. On the edges in the top, I'll make it dark brown and then fill in the rest very lightly. And then I'll fill in the tail. That's basically my owl. Fill in the branch with gray for the bark. It's very light. Let's give it a hint of color. If you want, you can make a couple little stems here. Absolutely not needed, but you can draw some little green. A little hint of green there. Maybe spring's coming. I try to emphasize this heart shape on my owl's face a little more. There. That's pretty much it. You can put a little statement down here and put something personal inside. I do in the inside. So that's my little owl, very simple. There's my one I was, um, and you can tilt the head. You can do whatever you want to do. You can play with it a little bit, have some fun. I hope this is helpful. If so, please like the video. Thank you.